Oof. Hello, everyone. It has been a while since I last spoke with you all. Anyway, today we are on a very special adventure. Um, I decided to go to KCON for the first time. Um, I'm here in Los Angeles. I just got to my hotel and it's the first time that I am staying in a hotel alone. Um, I got over the scary part. The scariest thing for me was getting an Uber by myself because there have been lots of terrible stories about young women being harmed in like rideshare freaking application things lately. But it was fine. We were fine. And um, yeah, it's 4 p.m. I started traveling today at 8 a.m. So I think I am about to go try and pick up my pass. I bought, I wanted to get a freaking, what is it, A1 or P1? I'm a freaking noob, guys. <laughs> um, but I got the next level down because when tickets were on sale, the site kept crashing for me. Um, so basically, I think I have three artist engagements and a chance of high touch. And um, I'm gonna try and not get my hopes up because I know there's like a really low chance I'll get what I want, but I really wanna freaking do a Stray Kids high touch. Stray Kids was the reason why I wanted to come to KCON. So let's hope and pray. And um, oof, I know a lot of people are probably gonna be trading stuff, but I don't know how much someone would trade a high touch for stray kids if I didn't get one. This is the hotel I got. Um, it was f oh, it, it, I thought it was cheap, but then I thought it was expensive. I guess it was like reasonably priced, but um, now that I'm here, I'm kind of like, yo, what the f You're charging me how much for this? Um, hello. Like, okay, so, this website said city views. Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't a city view. Um, we're not even near the freaking downtown Los Angeles strip. So I don't know how there are any city views, um, but I'm pretty sure I got this one in the entire building. Like what, what am I looking at right now? And it makes me kind of sad because I love, my favorite part about traveling is staying in hotels and looking at the view especially at nighttime that's sadly not gonna happen here anyway so after i pick up my um passes whatever i still have to try to go to dolls kill tonight i really hope i can make it happen they're open till 8 p.m um because my dolls kill order that i placed like a couple days before i had to leave did not arrive in time shocker so um that was my outfits for kcon and i really don't want to go looking like this like looking like a noob so oh let's see if we can make it all happen guys also my hair has changed since you last saw me all right i quickly just changed i put on the same exact outfit as i wore to the freaking speak yourself tour i'm depressed but let's go let's go get our ish i'm so excited but i'm also nervous i have to go freaking walk all over los angeles right now and i've never even been here before we got this guys we so got this. Oh my god, you guys. I'm looking rough. Oh, wow. What the frick is happening? I have like sunscreen all over the lens. Hold on. This is just classic. Something that never changed. You can really see it when I shine it on the light. So I have this lamp and this lamp. There's like, oh, I guess there's that. Oh, uh, let's try this. Whoa. Oh my God, what is happening? My life is a freaking mess. Yes. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, so I um, made it. I was able to conquer Los Angeles all by myself. Um, a lot has happened since I last spoke to you. Um, I did pick up my stuff for KCON and um, let's have a talk about that, shall we? 
So like, I'm just gonna take a seat on the floor because my legs really hurt. And oh, wow, she is looking scary. So I didn't, I guess like they use a weird app I've never heard of for concert tickets. And um, I found out about this after I bought my tickets, but you had the option on the app to buy multiple because you know the concert is on two days it's on saturday night and sunday night and the convention is friday saturday sunday um so i didn't know on the app that you had the option to buy tickets for multiple days so basically when i was buying my tickets through the website um i freaking had to wait in the queue twice because I bought tickets for Sunday first because that's when Stray Kids was performing so that's when I wanted to get GA and then I bought tickets on Saturday and because I got tickets on Saturday the second I got really bad seats I got like the highest seats area it's called P3 it's like the very top of the stadium number two was that like I said when I was trying to get my convention tickets and my artist engagement pack um, the site crashed like it wasn't even i couldn't even get in the queue i was i remember i got out of work a little bit early and the tickets were going on sale at noon and i got out at like 11 45 and i was trying to get in the queue and it wasn't even working <laughs> like i couldn't click the button to join the queue so then by the time the button finally was clickable for me then the site crashed like literally crashed like i could not access it it said like 505 not found not secure whatever i'm not a tech person don't drag me um yeah so then i had to wait extra and then by the time i got in there was only p2 available and like i said earlier if you choose p2 you're not guaranteed a high touch you have a high touch chance but you have three artist engagement packs um and all of this is at random uh, I think the only way that you can pretty much be guaranteed to see your favorite groups is if you buy like diamond or platinum which are like thousands of dollars and that's because you have like unlimited artist engagement or unlimited high touch or some shit. Anyway, so this is what I got. They didn't give me like a convention booklet or anything and they also didn't give badge. They gave this little wristband and it's like made out of ribbon and they said that I could shower with it but I'm also like that's gonna feel really gross when I shower. Anyways, so, um, oh God, this was such a crazy experience. The line for um, pre-grad wasn't that long. I think I waited in there for like probably 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Um, and I've waited in lines for conventions for probably like six hours before. So I really was happy about that. Anyway, so you get like these cards that say like what artist engagement you got. So. The first one I saw was Ateez, um, which is like probably my second favorite group that's there. Um, then I got Is One. I don't even know them. I feel bad. I know that they're a girl group. And then I got Mamamoo. I think that's how you say it. I think I know like one of their songs. And then for High Touch Chance, it said Sorry. And I was like, my dumb ass was literally like, who the f is Sorry? But then I was like, oh, sorry because I didn't get high touch. Um, so that was fun times. And like when you go out of the um, registration area, you can go downstairs um, outside. And down there, there was like a sea of people just like shouting like, trading my high touch, looking for this, willing to sell this. And I like was trying to peek around, but there was so much going on because um, like, I am not going to use these other two audience engagements because I don't really know anything about these groups so I'm like I want them to go to someone who cares about them plus I'm like did anyone get audience engagement for Stray Kids? Is that a thing? Because I haven't even seen anyone on social media get that. So yeah I got that and then I got a little bag. Yeah, that had, I'm really confused as to why they gave out these bags because there was nothing in it. Like they handed me this empty bag and then they also handed me this. I mean, I'm thankful to have this bag um, cause you know, grocery tote, I guess. Um, 
but I'm also like why like it all of these tickets together were so expensive and I just feel like I wasted all my money because I literally only got one thing that I'm interested in going to and the rest I'm like I could not care less I feel so bad and I look rough you guys okay so other than that I um after that I freaking went to Dolls Kill and it was further away than I imagined so I've spent a lot of money on lifts today thankfully they've all been safe which is the one thing we care about so yeah I went to Dolls Kill here is oh here is that and I got what am I doing I got one outfit um you guys can see it later I guess I'm really not that excited about it they didn't have the clothes that I ordered online um just because that's like the kind of luck that I'm having today um so I have an outfit I guess that's not my favorite I spent way too much money on it but I was just kind of panicking at this point um so yeah uh then when I was trying to leave um the area that I was in where Dolls Kill is at it's like it's called Fairfax and it's also near the Grove so I kind of went to go check out the Grove and I wasn't that impressed it was mainly just a lot of food honestly um I was trying to get another lift back to my hotel and the lift driver got really lost and I felt so bad about it um but yeah I finally made it back here and I really need to get some food I haven't eaten since 7 a.m. <laughs> I feel like I'm just running on sheer will um oh yeah I forgot to mention the walk to the um convention center is exhausting and I've already spent so much money on lifts I like don't want to keep buying lifts so I'm just like gonna endure the pain and it's like it's a fine walk during the day but like there is one part of the walk where I have to go underneath the freeway and like there's some um homeless people there which is fine but I feel bad like infringing upon that space um anyway so I think for the first time in my life I'm gonna try to like order food off of like a food delivery service um, I've never done that before, but it's getting dark and I'm scared to go out alone when it's dark So yeah, I'm really just gonna relax for the rest of the night. Like I am so like I'm just honestly you guys I'm just bummed. I'm just super bummed Oh, I'm probably gonna oh god This outfit is so sweaty and gross because the walk is so exhausting But I'm probably gonna have to wear this outfit again because I don't have anything else. I mean, like, I brought half of my summer clothes, but none of them are, like, cute stuff that I want to wear to cake on. Mm, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. So, today is the first day of the KCON convention. I have no idea what to expect. It's, like, 9.15 right now. And I got an oat milk latte we're in freaking los angeles so you gotta do as the skinny legends do and get your oat milk um and i also got an egg sandwich but it was like so like stinky and like raw that i was like mm, no so i'm about to do my makeup and then freaking try to find something to eat after i do that and then i guess go to the freaking convention center and see what's popping i really want to try and give someone my artist engagement because i'm not going to use them and if someone would give me money for it that would be cool but i'm not expecting it i kind of just want to you know get rid of them oh something happened this morning so kcon announced there was an announcement earlier that um what us wasn't going to be at KCON rookies I think um, but they were like hopefully we'll be able to get them to come to the actual concert but now they're not able to come to the concert and also and also Chung Ha I think is how you say her name is not coming and the reason why is because of visa issues like why is this happening like the like visa issues is not something that happens like all of a sudden so that's frustrating and um it sucks because i really wanted to see one us but what can you do um anyway 
I'm gonna go do my makeup and I will report back when I am done. All right, y'all, this is what we're working with today. Holy. This is what we're working with today. It's nothing special. Um, actually, it's actually what I'm choosing to wear. I don't know. I just feel more comfortable in it. And um, I'm about to show you something a little bit scary. So I look kind of insane right now. And um, it's because I don't have any mascara. Like I always forget something when I travel. And this time it just happened to be mascara. Like so freaking random so i have to go to a drugstore and get some mascara and then after that i will finally be ready to go and do i don't even know <laughs> i'm so like confused about everything that's about to happen but I just got back to my hotel um, it is about four o'clock um, as you can see I was able to get mascara um, the eye look is still kind of crazy I don't know if I'll do it again anytime soon um, but I wanted to do some green because I thought my outfits for cake on were gonna be green if they ended up not being green <laughs> yikes um, anyways so this is so exhausting I'm having a lot of fun but it's really exhausting and like my entire like right leg I don't know if it's like the way that I'm standing or the way that I'm walking but it hurts so bad <laughs> anyway so I was I went to the expo hall first and I got um ooh, I got a thing ooh. I got an official KCON hoodie because I love hoodies and it came with this uh what is it a pin okay it's a pin i thought it was a magnet cool um trip Ooh. ticket prices reimbursed i don't care about how expensive it is i got a free pin guys so uh, i really couldn't understand what this lady was telling me because like i really like big ass hoodies so i told her i wanted a large and she said that they're like um one size or something and i didn't really catch what size it is she just held it up to me and i was like yeah sure so let's look oh extra large perfect we stand um yeah so the front is really kind of boring but you know it's nice to have like a basic black hoodie i guess the back is kind of cute um i'm just a sucker for like this isn't really tour merch but tour merch i love it i always like to pick up merch when i go to concerts um to have like a keepsake um, so yeah, I might change into this because I'm like sweaty and disgusting and I'm trying to be comfy AF. Um, so then after that, I went to, oh, first I found someone who wanted to buy my, um, is one. I don't know how you say it because I don't stay in the group, but, um, I found someone who wanted to take my audience pass for that group. And so I exchanged with her. Um, and then I went on over to the AT's audience engagement session. It was not at all was I, what I was expecting.
I had a feeling it was gonna be a panel and it kind of was except for there were no seats everyone was just standing and like the people who had high touch were standing right in front of the stage and then there was like a barricade and like a lot of space in between and then the people who just had audience engagement it was kind of weird um but i was pretty close to the barricade for just regular audience passes so that was kind of cool i got in line an hour early and then after that i met up with someone who had a freaking stray kids audience engagement pass that they were looking to sell so i bought it for them i bought it from them for um i would say a fair price but i'm oh guys i'm really kind of freaking nervous because i don't know if i'm stupid and i got scammed but like the guy was really nice so i'm hoping that i didn't but like okay so like it looks normal from the front but then the back has nothing on it and it also says lisa on it and i don't know who lisa is and i'm just like really starting to stress out because like all the ones that i had had this on the back and then this one doesn't i mean it looks like it kind of had something right there i don't really know what this means but i'm really stressed out that it's fake and um if it is fake i guess it's not like that big of a deal because um I paid $60 for it and I sold both of my other audience engagements for $20 each so I would technically only be out $20 but it's kind of just like oh I would really suck if I got scammed but I'm hoping that the guy like is a trustworthy person and he wouldn't do that to me because he was really nice and like after I gave him the money he's like oh there's people behind you and they're giving out these fan-made banners and so he told me to go get one yeah other than that, um, I am just now waiting for... Wow, that's a flattering angle. I'm waiting to meet up with Angel and Benji and Benji's sister Abby later. They want to get dinner and they told me to meet up with them. I guess they're getting in and out right now. Um, they love food. I don't blame them. So I'm just going to wait for that. Um, I got some freaking snacks at 7-Eleven. I got water because I'm trying not to pay $4 for the water that's over there. And they're selling that freaking water for $4. I got some Gatorade because I've really been craving it lately. And I got some spicy chips. So I am just going to chill out for a little bit and try to relax because I am so tired. I just wanted to update you all that the hoodie is like the perfect size. It's dress status on me, which is what we like to see. It's comfy. Ooh. Swag. I don't think they heard you guys, sorry. Okay, one more time. I need you guys to scream it one more time. Not yet. I'll count three, two, one, and you guys scream at me. Ready? Right? I love you too, thank you. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Alright. Uh, 
반반으로 나눠서 그래서 이제 그 말이 오케이 선생님 팀 선생님 팀 Alright, good looking team here and then Ready? This is the first dance. Thank you. 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 Thank you.